Have you ever wanted to heal your body, mind, and spirit by completing the whole Sacred Woman training by Queen Afua, but you weren't sure how to do the womb wellness movements or even what workouts to do? Well, Sacred Sisters, on the last video, Sacred Secrets 3, I gave you a summary of what to eat and what not to eat, plus some snack ideas for busy women. In this video, episode 4 of Sacred Secrets, I'm going to show you the womb wellness movements that are outlined in the book for easy reference. There's a few moves I left out because, <laughs> honestly, I'm just not there yet. But this is a journey and I don't expect to be at the destination already. But anything that we can't do, we can just work towards it together. Let's work, queen. It's Ani, aka the African Pinup Girl, and welcome to Pinup Entertainment. If you're new here, go ahead and tap that subscribe button and that bell. I don't have to tell you why, you already know the drill. If you are returning back, welcome back, family. Make sure you're also subscribed and you'll be notified. All you need is a yoga mat and the Sacred Woman book by Queen of Fuwa to get started. The sacred movements we're supposed to do throughout the whole entire sacred woman process are located on page 195. The first movement is the rebirthing pose, which unblocks tightness and stress within the pelvic area. The advanced rebirth, womb leg stretch, stretches the tension out of your hips, your thighs and your pelvis and allows for your blood to circulate better. The Lotus Pose helps to strengthen your pelvis and your womb. The Womb Seat Movement relaxes and stretches out your hips, your thighs, and your abdomen. The Bridge Over Trouble Water Pelvic Lifts, or just the bridge, is known to relieve tension and stress on the hips, thighs, and pelvis. So, you're supposed to reach for the ankles and actually hold your ankles, and I'm working towards that. Let me know what type of progress you're making here with this move. Leave a comment. The Alter Womb Pelvic Stretch will open your pelvic region and it will lubricate the womb to keep it supple. This was another move that was a little bit challenging for me. I think you could tell by how I'm moving. It's a little bit hard. This was called the mountain womb press. And you're really supposed to have your hands onto your ankles. So that's another thing that I'm working towards. Told y'all I'm so out of shape. I am trying to get back. And hopefully Queen of Fool can help me do that. Um, this is a total body stretch. This is the waterfall pelvic press. Um, it is going to strengthen your arms, firm up your hips, thighs, and pelvis, and it's also going to release tension that's in your pelvic area. This is the offering pelvic release, which will open up the womb gently without any strain. This is probably my favorite. It was very relaxing. <laughs> the cobra pose stretches out the back and the pelvis. It strengthens your arms and it expands the lungs so that you can circulate air fully throughout your body. This right here was a bit of a sacred struggle. This move is the split. It unblocks your hips, pelvis, and thighs, and it's also a preparation for natural childbirth. Well, since I won't be having no kids no time soon, I guess I don't need this move. I'm good. <laughs> This is the Heavenly Body Forward Bend, which will stretch out the spine, prevents lower back pain, and it'll squeeze stress out of the womb, bladder, and colon. This is the Seat of Mother Ass Squat. I think as my balance improves, so will this move. Um, it helps to realign the pelvis and it will lengthen your spine. This move is the Spinal and Hip Contractions. Um, the benefits are that it strengthens your hips, your womb, and your abdomen, and it also will strengthen your back and improve circulation. If you're getting value from this video, please go ahead and tap on the like button and share with a sister who could use it. The Moon Spinal Twist opens up your spinal energy for deeper relaxation. The Sunrise Standing Squat will stretch your legs, thighs, hips, and womb. Plus, it's pretty cool. I know right here, yeah, I felt it in my hips. I was like, oh, that was a good stretch. 
Praise the creator. The benefits of this move is that it will increase your circulation and it will cleanse and purify the blood. The Pyramid Mountain Pose relaxes the body as well as flush toxins out of your legs, hips, and your womb. Congratulations to the Feather Giveaway winners, Brenda Moji, Mrs. G. Ville, and Yolanda Hamza. Click the pinned comment to claim your prize. Thanks for watching. Peace.